You're here live in the car, DIY Daddy. <laughs> all right, we're all prepped and ready for the concrete pour. I just left these uh, clamps on there. Probably don't need them because I got all these bracing supports underneath now. Got one in the bottom, three on each side. Added one in the back just to keep it from flexing. So I think we're ready. Got our piece of rebar cut that we're gonna drop drop in this form once we're halfway filled. Got our rebar already inside our channels like you saw. We're gonna start by pouring buckets of concrete in there, slowly fill it up. We'll see how many bags it takes. So this is my setup here for the concrete. <sighs> At least we're in the shade. We've got six bags, six 60 pound bags of quick creek, high strength concrete. Got our water going here, got a water bucket. I'm gonna mix it in the wheelbarrow, go ahead and come up the ramp and dump it in my bucket and then hoof it over there to my form. See how this goes. Glad I have a little extra concrete because definitely gonna need another bag. Air bubbles. Mallet. air bubbles pop out. Extra concrete. Go ahead and shove it down the one of the holes. Preferably one of rebar. Should have put that piece of wood farther back. Difficult. All right, well, we successfully poured the lintel solo. Not recommended, just a lot of moving around. But if you are gonna do it solo, make sure you have a nice streamlined setup to where you're, you're mixing, bucket, pouring is all in a circle so you can uh, easily go back and forth. So concrete's curing right now. You can see it's very wet. Still let some of this water evaporate. Really just have to make sure it's level. Maybe hit it with the mag real quick just to fill in any rock holes or whatever. But we want to keep it somewhat rough because we're just going to be putting more, uh, more brick and mortar on top of it, building the chimney up. Um, but I think overall our form pretty much held up for the most part. I don't see any bowing or dipping or, or anything like that. So that's a success. Um, so it took a 60 pound bag and a half, give or take, to fill up the columns. Um, that puts us at about three bags. And then it took another four and a four and a half 60 pound bags for the, for the horizontal lintel portion. I was short about a bag, but I don't know. I mean, I had, thankfully I had uh, two 90 pound bags left over that weren't ruined. 
so I just broke into those. But always buy more than you need. They're cheap. It's like five, four or five bucks a, a bag. So I don't know what I was what I was thinking. Probably because I drive the Prius and it can't hold much weight. But we made it work. Just gonna let this stuff dry up a little bit. You live and you learn. Buddy. All right, so the vertical channels of the cinder block have all been filled with concrete, the ones with the rebar at least. I bought these two inch by 20, or sorry, two inch by 48 inch angle iron from Lowe's and I just cut it in half. Thankfully I had a metal cutting wheel on my miter. So a little bit of sparks and we were able to cut them down to 24 inches. So what we're gonna do with this top row is close the top of the firebox so we're gonna use these angle irons to span uh, the width of the fireplace. And we're gonna use a solid block across the top and leave the opening for the chimney. And then we'll continue building it to we decide to stop basically. Just completed the next row up. I kept the same width as our original fireplace. What I did is I'm just keeping that chimney enclosure. I'll build it all the way up. And then from this level on, we're gonna start building in our chimney on each side. Just stacking them just like the other ones. All right, so the first layer of the chimney has been built in. Still have yet to decide if I wanna add one more brick on each side to give it a little more width. It's starting to take shape. As you can see, we have our opening for our fireplace. And a little bit more brick work to do. Wife wants me to go one more layer up. So we're going big. Stack up, stack up. All right, it is the day after finally finishing all the block work oh my gosh was this thing a beast had to get up on a ladder for the top row uh but i think overall the dimensions were spot on we decided to go a little wider with the chimney and a little taller so next step is gonna be the fire box and that is gonna be the 
fire brick. I think we're gonna go with the herringbone design, but probably gonna be way too much time, but we'll get it done. Thank you. 